610 WTVN. Jason, you guys have been so successful racking up stacks this year and doing various other things. I'm wondering what you guys up in your position think of as the most important stack to measure your success. If you're getting this number, that means you've been successful. What, what stat is that? I think the most important stat that we praise is stopping the run. I know it's not, it doesn't, probably doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but that's one thing that we praise at the defensive line is stopping the run because if we don't stop the run, we won't be able to sack the quarterback and get sack fumbles. Have you looked at Nebraska at all? Because they have a, a formidable run game. Well, what do you see in them, if you've seen them at all at this point? Um, I just know Nebraska is a great program. They, like, they, they have really good backs and they have a really good quarterback who can run the ball. And, and that's one thing that we have to stop is stop the run. That's one thing that Nebraska is really good at. Um, you guys haven't had to play very deep into a game yet as far as the starters, but because of just the rotation you have on the defensive line, even in the first, second, third quarters, are you noticing a difference in how much energy you have, individual guys have because of that? Uh, I think um, we, have a, we, have a really, we have a lot of energy because like our coach always tells us, like, if you're tired, come out the game, go as hard as you can, and then next guy up because I know I can trust the guy behind me. I know our other defensive linemen can trust the guys behind us. It's not, it's not like us, like um, – we call it somebody a second string guy or a third string guy. It's just it's literally next man up because everybody we did we all did the same work in the off season. We all did summer ball. We all we all did what we have to do in fall camp. And it's like I feel like our energy level is really high when you're able to come off the field and trust a guy on the field and go back on and go as hard as you can. Front row right, Austin from Letterman Row. Jay Sean, is there still a sense with you guys that you haven't had Coop yet? Tyreek's only played a game and a half. BB didn't play on Saturday that the Rushman can still do a lot more, even than what you've done the first four games? Yeah, I believe the Rushman can do a lot more. We, we still, like you said, we have guys down. Like, Brady hasn't shown much of, like, shown much of the Rushman until we got all our guys together. But as of right now, I think we're doing a great job with the next man, next man up model because our coach always says, whoever goes down, that, that person who goes in the game has to play, to play that person's position and their position and play as, play as two people. And I guess we won't find out until later in the week, but it seems like Coop is maybe getting close. He, I've been watching him going through pregames, and he, he looks like he wants to be out there badly. How has he handled it or been in the room with you guys for the last four weeks? Uh, Coop's handled it really well. He's, the one thing that Coop has done really well is help the younger guys. He's been in the playbook with them. He's been in the film room with them. And he's, given, he's, he's helping them do what he does best and just knowing the, knowing the scheme of a different team. Front row right, Bill from the dispatch. Is there a different feel this week? I mean, you know this is this is going to be a real game. That's the expectation. Um, I know you get up for every game, but is there a different feel this week? Uh, I don't know if it's a different feel. Uh, we take every team seriously. We have to. You know, you never know which team is going to be. It's going to have their day. So we take every every single program that we play as serious as possible. Each team that we play, we don't look ahead to the next team. We we do exactly what we need to do for that team. I think have you done of Martinez and what are your impressions of him? I played against Martinez last year. I know he's he's a he's a really good quarterback. He can run the ball and that's one thing that and he can actually pass the ball too, so that's one thing that yeah, he's he's a he's a threat. So that's one thing we have to do is stay in the film room. Front row right, Tim from Letterman Row. Yeah, it's funny, you refer to fumble snap fumble sacks as <laughs> one of the things you are after you guys are after now. Is it uncanny how you guys are developing those now, Jay Sean? What's just sort of the emphasis there? Uh, what's one? We don't want to get sacks. That's sacks is like, it's like we can, everybody can get sacks. We want to get sack fumbles. That's one thing that we stress as a D line. Sack fumble comes first. We want to go for the ball because getting making a fumble changes the game. It gives the offense the ball. So that's one thing that we love to do as a defensive line is go for the ball. One thing you know, and this I'm asking this. I, mean, I think you're playing well. How well is Chris, is Chase Young playing right now? Is he on another level? I mean, what? How would you describe him to someone that what he's bringing to the to the game, I think people see as Chase is on another level, but he hasn't even have a hit. He hasn't even hit his level yet. Chase is not even playing his best ball, but to uh, to the outside world, Chase is playing great. But like Chase can do a lot more that people haven't seen Chase done before. Uh, front row uh, right or center rather, Joey from uh, the dispatch. How does the way the Chase is just to fall up on Chase? He's still playing pretty well. How does he affect what the rest of you guys do on the line? Like, does he command a lot more attention? Is that noticeable on the field? I think Chase could, it's, just, it's Chase Young. I think he, he commands a lot of attention, but like, 
when he commands a lot of attention, they forget about the other guys sometimes. And then we have Davon, we have me, we have Tyreek that's down, Tyler Friday, like Javante, and we got Coop coming back. And I think one thing that they don't know is like this defense line. This, this is a great defensive line, and everybody has the opportunity to go make plays. And final questions, uh, second or right, Tony from the Ozone. Sean, you being the three technique, um, how do you uh, approach a pass rush against a guy like Adrian Martinez? You don't really have to worry about contained. Do you just try to get flush him out, or what do you do? I think one thing that we have to do is close the pocket on him. If we, if we cause him to be in the tunnel, it doesn't allow him to run the ball, allow him to get outside the pocket, because that's one thing he, he can do really good is get outside the pocket and make plays. And I think by us closing the pocket and putting him in the tunnel, that really helps us on, on that side. So you don't have to worry about like slowing down or anything when, when you're getting no. field. Yeah, right? no, I don't think so. I just have to just rush, rush the ball, close the pocket. And that's enough of the strategy question. Sure. Last question. Over here to the right, second or right. Kyle from the Toledo Blade. Uh, and another <coughs> fatigue question. Uh, the, the offense has scored quickly a number of times this year, under two minutes, under one minute drives. How, I mean, I know you guys want them to score points, but does, does that get tiring when you don't exactly have enough time to be on the sideline? I don't believe it gets tired. Like I said before, like I have guys behind me that are fresh. So like I don't worry about getting tired in the game because I know I have Haskell behind me. And once once when, if I get tired, Haskell knows like he can see on the field like when I'm ready to go, like he's coming in to get me. So that's like I don't worry about getting tired on the game because I know I, the man behind me is gonna come get me. Same with Chase and same with like Tyler Friday and Devon. We know that we have guys behind us that are gonna come in the game and play just as just as good as us. Jay Sean, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.